Hello. In this video, we will solve this problem. That is, find the expression for Vc of t for this circuit. And we have a switch here that will be closed at t equal to 0. So, first we will draw the circuit. When t is less than 0, that time switch is opened. So, you will get this circuit. So, this path will not be there. And you remember at t equal to 0 minus the inductor act like a short and capacitor act like an open circuit. And when t is greater than 0, switch will be closed. And once switch is closed here, this switch is closed. No current flows from 150 volt battery to this part of circuit. That is RLC, parallel RLC circuit you have. In this, no current flows through any of the branches from 150 volt battery because this is a short circuit all the current coming from this 150 volt will pass through like this and it will no current flows through like this so what is the circuit remaining then when t greater than zero you will get a parallel rlc network with the initial current il and initial voltage vc so that is nothing but a source free a parallel rlc circuit so step one we have to calculate alpha use this equation 1 by 2 rc you will get 125 kilo and omega naught 100 k you will get and s1 and s2 using this formula you can calculate that and we know that alpha is greater than omega naught so response will be over damped response so what next we have to find is initial current and initial voltage so il of 0 minus we have to calculate circuit i have drawn here you observe the current direction of IL, current direction of IL and 120, 150 volt battery. You are expecting current to flow from positive, leaving from the positive terminal and flowing through like this and reach negative. But your IL direction is opposite to that. So how to calculate then IL? IL will be minus 150 divided by total resistance. That is nothing but minus 300 milliampere. And Vc of 0 minus that is nothing but open circuit voltage that is the voltage across this 200 ohm uh, resistor it is nothing but you again observe the Vc and current direction IL it is opposite so it is minus IL of 0 minus into 200 IL is already having minus sign and again you are putting one more minus sign so it will be plus 300 milli into 200 and 60 volt you will get so initial capacitor voltage is 60. And we know that IL of 0 plus is nothing but IL of 0 minus equal to minus 300 milli. And VC of 0 plus equal to VC of 0 minus that is 60 volt. And since it is a over damped response, we can write the response like this. VC of T equal to A1 e power minus S1 T plus A2 e power minus A power, sorry not minus S1. A1 e power S1 T plus A2 e power S2. Okay, where S1 and S2 are negative here. Now, uh, from the initial condition V of 0, we can have one equation relating A1 and A2, but need we need one more equation so that we can calculate two constant. That can be easily solved by differentiating the Vc of t with respect to time. So if you differentiate this one, you will get this expression. So differentiating with respect to time, we will get this. Now, this dVc by dt how it is related to IC, the equation is IC equal to C dVc by dt. In particular, if you are interested IC of 0 plus, then you have to do what? C into dVc by dt and evaluate at t equal to 0 plus. So this dVc by dt is related to IC of 0 plus. And IC of 0 plus we can calculate from IL of 0 plus. So that we already know initial condition. So we can have two equations relating A1 and A2. We can solve easily. And what is that IC of 0 plus? Circuit is again I have drawn here. IC of 0 plus, if you apply the KCL, it will be minus of IL plus IR. So minus of IL plus IR. And what is the IL of 0 minus? Just now we calculated that is IL of 0 plus is equal to IL of 0 minus. Just now we calculate that is minus 300. So minus 0.3 here. And what is IR, IR of 0 plus? We know voltage across 200 ohm resistor. That is nothing but Vc of 0 plus. That divided by 200 will give the current passing through this. 
So if you substitute that, you will get 0.3 minus 60 by 200, that is 0. So initial capacitor current is 0. So using the first condition, that is Vc of 0 is 60 volt. If you substitute <coughs> T equal to 0, then you will get A1 plus A2 equal to 60. This is the first uh, equation relating A1 and A2. Second one, we have IC of 0 equal to C dBc by dt at equal to 0 or 0 plus also you can tell. So dBc by dt evaluated at t equal to 0 plus equal to IC of 0 plus by C where IC of 0 plus is 0. So we have one more equation now. The differentiation of this one. This one you have to differentiate and substitute t equal to 0. That you equate to 0. Why you have to equate to 0? Because IC of 0 plus is 0. So that will be equated to 0. We have two expressions, two unknowns. So if you solve that, A1 will be 80 and A2 will be minus 20. So total response will be 80 e power minus 50 kT minus 20 e power minus 200 kT. If you plot this one, you will get this kind of a response. So initial we know that capacitor voltage is 60 and it will decay using this equation. You have to fo it follows this equation and at equal to infinity actually it reaches 0. So this is the expression. Uh, this is the expression for this problem.